His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa inaugurated today the 24th Middle East International Jewelry and Watch Exhibition Jewelry Arabia 2015 organized by the Arabian Exhibition Management at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, the BIECC, with the participation of 600 exhibitors from 30 countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the Kingdom's huge success in hosting mega international exhibitions, including Jewelry Arabia, thanks to the government's support to the exhibition sector as well as the stimulating investment environment provided by the government. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister cut the ribbons and declared the opening of the expo in which local and international jewellery companies are participating. His Royal Highness underlined the government's constant desire to provide incentives and facilities in order to attract various investments as the best way to ensure the sustainability and competitiveness of the national economy and spur economic progress. He also affirmed the increase in the number of participants of this yearly exhibition, which reflects a global confidence in the kingdom's investment atmosphere and innumerable facilities. His Royal Highness expressed the government's keenness on encouraging the private sector to participate in the development of various fields of the kingdom. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of the organizers of the exhibition, wishing them and participants success. For his part, the Minister of of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Zayani, expressed his thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's patronization of Jewelry Arabia 2015, which reflects the leadership and the government's keenness to attract specialized world exhibitions, develop the exhibition's tourism sector, and increase its contributions to the kingdom's GDP.
The jewel in the crown of Bahrain's annual event calendar is undoubtedly Jewelry Arabia, due to its status, popularity and success. This year's 24th edition has grown by 15% over last year, involving over 600 exhibitors from 30 nations, with showcases covering 21,000 square meters. Jewelry Arabia has become a very popular, the most popular event in the calendar of events in Bahrain. And the reason for that is that His Highness, uh, His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, uh, gives it his personal attention and his personal presence. And he makes a point of talking to all the people who are displaying in this uh, jewelry Asia. And that uh, attracts people to Bahrain more and to this uh, exhibition in particular. Also, it is an event where all the family members come. It's come like a landmark in, uh, around the world, Jewelry Arabia. There are so many exhibitions in the world, but we are, in, as the Middle East, number one in terms of business and participation and huge demand. So I believe uh, this is because of the it's a trust on Bahrain, trust on the leadership, and trust on the law and the land security and everything you can say. That's why people are interested to come with the, their hundreds of millions of dollars jewelry and diamonds, and they feel at their home when they come here and participate. The hospitality, the the welcome in the airport, the custom authorities, all agencies how they are cooperating with them. Uh, they will never find in any place around the world like this. It is not surprising that Bahrain is the perennial home of such a prestigious event for jewellery and watches, considering that the pearling industry put Bahrain on the map long before the discovery of oil. Bahrain is still internationally renowned for its lustrous natural pearls and for its ongoing tradition of handcrafted fine jewellery. Each and every jewellery we produce with Bahraini pearls, it's, it's, it's something special around the world. Nowhere other country having a natural pulse, only Bahrain, supplying around the world, royals, kings, queens, everywhere, multimillionaires, celebrities, all wearing natural pulse is supplied from Bahrain. Companies from around the world use Jewelry Arabia as a platform for launching their newest and most luxurious collections. Last year's show attracted over 50,000 buyers from 47 countries, marking a 3.5% increase in attendance, which can be reasonably expected to repeat this year. Not only is the show valued for the quantity of buyers, however, but also due to their cutting-edge tastes. People here are craving for novelties. And this is actually one of the regions in the world where we have the best novelty ratio of purchase. So this is a most fascinating region for that. And you can see around you, I mean, it's all about new buildings, building new generation. It's, it's all about the future. So I think coming from the old world, not only myself, but also the brand, um, doing this bridge between the very cultural, historical, let's say, old continent and these also ancestral values that are perpetrated uh, during generations here and also the craving for novelty, I think it makes a fantastic combination. Amongst the star attractions at this year's show is the world's most valuable guitar, a bejeweled Coronet Gibson valued at $2 million that is currently on a world tour. This guitar it consists of 400 carat of diamond and 1.6 kilogram of gold and then uh, we need 68 people working two months on it and in other words if one worker it take more than a year to do it. As with every year this year's Julia Arabia has a very jubilant atmosphere and is attracting more participants from more countries and indeed more customers than ever before. Reporting for Bahrain Television I'm Danielle Deporto. His Royal Highness of Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met in Qadabiya Palace today U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain William Roebuck and Commander of U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and Commander of the U.S. Fifth Fleet Vice Admiral Kevin Donegan. The Crown Prince affirmed the necessity of reinforcing coordination and understanding between Bahrain and the U.S. to preserve shared interests and strengthen the foundations of facing shared challenges in addition to meeting the demands of both countries' people. 
level. His Royal Highness said Bahraini-American relations importance go beyond cooperation to coordination regarding regional and international issues. He expressed appreciation for U.S.'s effective partnership in organizing a workshop regarding combating terrorism and violence funding with the Foreign Ministry, Bahrain Central Bank and the GCC General Secretariat, which came in line with the Manama Declaration regarding finding ways of combating terrorism funding and drying up its resources. The Crown Prince added that Bahrain, along the international community, continues to stand against all forms of terrorism and combat its ideology in addition to working on reinforcing values of honoring human rights and freedom. The meeting also discussed Bahraini-American relations and regional and international issues. For his part, the American officials expressed appreciation for the meeting them and commended the level of joint cooperation in various fields. Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mullah chaired today the weekly meeting in which the council approved a suggestion regarding government's procedures to maintain and improve Al Jazair Beach to make it more fitting for Bahrain and its people. The council also approved a report by the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee regarding separating the budget of abroad treatments from the Ministry of Health budget and another report regarding establishing major industrial projects to help the unemployed. The meeting discussed a report by the Foreign Defense and National Security Committee regarding the amendment of an article regarding passports and draft law and approved another report regarding establishing a wet rack to show youth driving skills. They also approved a report by the Services Committee regarding social insurance and another report regarding applying agricultural studies in public schools. A very good evening, you're watching the business and news on Bahrain Television. The Southern Tourism Company, a subsidiary of Bahrain's Mumtalakat Holding Company, made an agreement with Avan Group to purchase two speed boats to transport passengers to and from Hwar Islands. President of the Council for Southern Department of Tourism, Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said the agreement aims to develop the maritime tourism in Bahrain, in addition to the agreement signed with the Port Marine Company, aiming to benefit from the services provided by the company. Bahrain's national carrier Gulf Air and leading aircraft manufacturer Airbus have celebrated today the success of the A320 Family Regional Seminar, which brought together region's experts, technical professionals and engineering managers. The seminar discussed top technical issues in support of airline operations along with insights into the A320 family product evolutions. The Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,230.54 points, an increase of 2.29 points above last closing. The rise was in the commercial banks and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, representing 59 of total shares traded. 37 transactions took place with a volume of 1,289,024 shares, worth 138,673 Bahraini dinars.